Well, if I'm the best woman, then you're the best partner. Nine. Oh, sis. Let's stick to... Let's stick together, okay? From here on out. Always. Yeah. All right, hello everyone. Quick explanation for the change of visual presentation. Just my microphone a little bit more. We, uh, well, I originally streamed this episode of a cat who's investigating a microphone with um, on Twitch. However, it dropped enough chunks of the episode that I was not able to properly capture it. Um, So, consequently, I can find the, uh... So, consequently, this episode, episode 47, The Future, which I beat several, several weeks ago, that episode 48 was effectively lost. Um, tried to capture it. Oh, sorry, uh, lost and bound. It was effectively lost. Over half the frames that silver drops. I'm going to attempt. So. Okay, so. Oh, it's not letting me cap. Oh, it's not letting me replay it. Damn. Okay. So. I, uh, I lost this episode entirely. This is going to be a, so episode 48 is going to be a lost episode. But I will attempt to recap basically what happens. We, we have a brief synopsis here in the scenario chart, which I appreciate. Um, the brief version is here. Um, who arrives in the Gamelus and Gamelin system, which also contains Iskandar. Um, Shortly after, Gessler does basically a, a, a Nuremberg rally, um, stating his intention to recap, to um, force a unification between the uh, Gamelins and the Eskandarians. Um, and the Gamelins have a. Um, a, a Dessler is operating under the perspective that uh, M Lieutenant Mori is actually in his Kandarian, or he's pr putting forward the presentation that she's in his Kandarian. Um, I'm going to try to use, when I edit this video together, um, a chunk of the final footage uh, of what I captured from the last streaming session to kind of show what was missed. And also kind of show the, the resulting quality and why it's a lost episode. But anyway, uh, the um, Yamato fleet attempts to do a rescue mission at the same time that the ELS, those weird robot enemies we were fighting, uh, show up as well. They are the enemies from the Gundam 00 movie. Uh, the aliens from the Gundam 00 movie. And... Tetsuna has to make contact. Basically, the objective is gamut for that mission was do enough damage to the alien command ship, which is effectively just a hex on the map, because the ship's big enough that it has to be a background, is to exist in the background, um, so that Setsuna can mentally interface with it and communicate with it to stop the fighting, while at the same time keeping the gamblins at bay. During this. The Gardens show up with our alternate player, with, with the other original character. Um, we beat, we defeated them, and the Va and the Vang Ray, uh, in particular, beat the other defeated the other protagonist. However. <clears throat> It turned out the Gardam have, uh, because Nine's the technology that created Nine, 
is close to garden technology. They are able to submit it, send an override code to take control of Nine, and our protagonist goes with them in order to get in order to reunite with our main protagonist, well, with, the, with, the, with the other alternate protagonist, and get Nine back and find out what the Gardam are up out to do once and for all. Again, I am sorry that we missed this mission, and I sh badly botched how I handle my saves. So that I was not able to go replay this mission. That's on me, and I apologize. So, I will edit, a, like, try to find highlights and edit a chunk of the, the original footage in here. Kind of give an idea how things turned out. And then we will continue with the main game. You haven't been in this set in a while. Abelt Dessler. That's the name of the Gamelus, of the Gamelus Supreme Leader, isn't it? Oh, Maldites! Okay, he must have joined up. Yeah, he joined up with us last time. Um, after we finished off the attack. His idea of spreading... Uh, the idea of achieving lasting peace throughout the universe, Dale spreading is Kendarism anywhere and everywhere, no matter how high the cost might be. I guess Dietz is not Dormal as our actual Rommel figure? Under this doctrine, the Pride Returns we call the Dessler Doctrine, or, other, or your world might call Fascism, you started to invade numerous star systems. I take it the Gamelins invading Earth part of that. Yes, but it's a significant cost to the Empire's population overall power. Gambolins can only Gambolins can only afford to engage in such wanton expansionism for so long before it goes bust. Fundamental problem of fascism. Um one of the under I say one of the fundamental problems of fascism. There's a lot of fundamental problems to fascism. Problem is the Supreme Leader won't take no for an answer. See, anyone who opposes his plans gets arrested. Sent off to a detention facility. I think he's taken such a harsh turn. I know what you're thinking, Princess, but this really is how Gamelus operates these days, sadly. Yes, Dan, it's still just sinking in for me. Gamelin's ba- or, Gamelin's basically worship Eskandarians like actual gods. What I find confusing is why Gessler kidnapped Yuki by mistake. What does he gain from doing I don't know, Dietz, something I need to make clear. Where are you going, Commander? Go on. Right now, I don't think Earth and Gamblers can just join forces out of all the fighting we've been. However, I now understand where you're coming from. At the very least, I think a ceasefire is possible. Thank you, Commander. I'm relieved to hear that. What would you do from here, though? What would you do from here, though? I intend to gather as many people to my side as I can. Start to liberate other detention centers, like the one that was detained in here and left the Porta. That makes good sense to me. My crew and I wish you good luck in your endeavors. Not too much to ask. I'd like to leave Melda with you as to serve as the liaison going forward. You sure you want her posted with us? She's ho your daughter, is she not? I'm sure. Ultimately, he wishes for as well. I understand. You'd be happy to keep your daughter aboard then. Thank you, Captain. Thank you again, Commander. As for you. I pray that Earthfleet's Tenku's journey to Iskandar will be a successful one, too. Thank you. Appreciate the settlement, Sentiment Admiral. Hopefully one of these days, after it's all done and over with, we can meet again just like this. Oh, that's... Uh, we've seen this multiple times, but man, I'm impressed by how unsubtle this is. Welcome, Princess Eurisha, to the Great Gamblers Empire. It's a general honor for me to meet you in person. You've never actually seen this Gandarian before. Princess, you haven't forgotten who I am, have you? Don't oh, tell me this woman's... Celestia, would you do me a favor and keep the princess company for a while? I have a cabinet meeting to end right now. Yes, my liege. Princess Eurisha, please come right this way. All right. Princess Bear. Princess. 
Duty is in peril, though. It's, it's not that you expect anything less from an Isidarian, but still. I can care less about her looks. What do you mean, sire? The prince's role is to give her assent to the major unification of Gamblus and Iskand, at which point the people will fall in line as well. The thing that happened is the only reason she matters to me. Gee, but enough about her. Gentlemen, get the preparations for the memorial service underway. I'll be outside if you need anything at all, Your Highness. Okay, thank you. I think I'm going to leave now, Minister. Thank you for having me. This was all mine. The teeth made for us was also delicious. Thank you. I I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. Thank you. Alright, I'm heading out. Girl, you just met. Hilda. Dalton. With your escort. Father died fighting some barbarian ship. I forget the exact name of it. Something like the Yamato. I disliked her too. I wasn't lucky to be wasn't born here on Gamelus, but now we're both lucky enough to be forces of the Empire. We are Gamelins. Except, as we've seen multiple times before this, in inside Gamelin society, Daltsons and other non birth gamelins are actively discriminated against. You have technically you have the rights of a full citizen of the Gamelin Empire but in reality you don't. So who you really are princess? I'm Yurisha Iskandar third princess of... no, that's not what I mean. Huh? What are you trying to say? You belong to Gamelus now, not Iskand. The reality is you're a caged bird, princess. Be a pawn in our dealings with this Kandar. Your sister, no Queen Darsha Iskandar, has such noble efforts in her desire to bring salvation to all sentient life throughout the universe. In actuality, she does nothing but test others. A supreme leader, on the other hand, is different. He wants to establish a co-prosperity sphere, one whose reach extends beyond the borders of galaxy. Wow, co-prosperity sphere! Directly referencing the language and rhetoric used by fascist Japan during World War II. Um, I'm... I'm impressed that you went there. I'm also impressed that this is, like, not the first anime that's been used in this game to, that's gone, that's... as far as the, the source material, that's gone there, too. I don't mean in terms of chronologically, but in terms of, like, of ones we've encountered. And this comes up in Gundam Unicorn. Full Frontal's plan is to create a, quote, co-prosperity sphere. He uses those words, again, evoking fascist World War II era Japan, which would make sense because Zeon is fascist. So we are keeping the cons we are keeping the conceit here both with you know, Zeon and with Gamblins that hey, they're space Nazis or space fascists. In case maybe you, know, you want to paint, it. there's not, not too much of a difference. Um, and directly trying to draw those comparisons. Now, I don't know how World War II was taught in Japan, or I don't know if Japanese audience be familiar with the implications of those phrases. Like, how wide the Japanese audience is outside of particular history buffs be familiar with the implications of these phrases. But still, I appreciate them drawing these connections. They're hey, the bad guys are Nazis, basically. And the use of German names and stuff as well also kind of plays into it. I mean, he's willing to get his hands dirty. That's an interesting one. She has an interesting view on things. Being a part of the Empire is what's giving people their first taste of real peace. That's real salvation. And our supreme leader is the one who's providing it. Let me ask you a question. You dropped by the detention center and left a portal, right? What was your experience like in there? Horrible. I hated being I hear you. I spent time there when I was a kid, too. What? But why? Because it wasn't a gamble in then, legally or ethnically. The Supreme Leader rescued me and my sister from there personally. For his kind, he didn't have to do that. Lady. 
if he's actually kind, you know what you don't have to do? Or you wouldn't do? He wouldn't keep people in intention camps for not being Gamelins in the first place. I kind of want to watch the original series to see how far the, if the detention caps show up in there and how far they go. But this could very easily go into World War II Nazi concentration camp direct territories. Or not, depending on how whether they want to pull their punches and start to see. <laughs> oh, forgive my bounceless princess. I never feared a person of your standing would be even interested in such trifling gossip. Still, love is an interesting way to put it, I suppose. Right? Let's anyway, let me get going. I'm holding a memorial sequence for Admiral Dur Dommel, and wish for you to attend it as well. Spoilers! Admiral Dommel, not dead. Is this going to be the Yamato equivalent of Giren's, of, um, Garma's funeral? We're doing the somber music here. But with how this is laid out, this, this is screaming to me of Giren's speech at Garma's funeral. General Heinrich Dommel was both a hero to the Gamelin people and a personal friend. His death is a profound loss to both me as an individual and our entire empire. He's irreplaceable, and I'm sure our beloved subjects feel exactly the same. I'd activate a reverb effect here, but I don't have... I'd have to hit a button. I have to jump through some hoops to do that, so not so much. Sorry about the drop frames, by the way. But the fact remains, he's never coming back. How then do we fill the void that he's left behind? There's only one answer to that. With hope, only hope alone can heal our profound sorrow and guide us towards a new, bright future. He's probably not as deep a voice, but I expect he's putting on a front here. Um, interesting, he's not directly calling out Yamato for the death or anything like that. A pause break. Come to think about it, I don't see Alan anywhere. But there's art in space in the borders. That's rather unfortunate, seeing as he was rather close to the general, too. Hell, you feel bad. You're just using Supreme Leader as head of the guard to do whatever you damn like. So allow me to instill all of my people with hope today. On our great hope, nay, our destiny as an empire. The great unification between Gamelus and Iskandar. Our people has been the two tribes long enough. It is time that we come back to get back together as one whole. To that end, I've discussed the matter with Princess Yurisha, and she has given her consent to this plan. One, no, you haven't. That's not Princess Yurisha. And two, no, she hasn't. Because. You haven't actually talked about it with her. The only thing to do now is to step forward and make this hope a reality. Today we walk towards the future. We as an empire must always press forward in progress. It's what our dear Admiral Domel wanted for us all. Assume for the moment, while it's still visual novel art, assume for the moment that he's probably gesturing like Hitler at a, at a Hitler rally. Hear these cries, Stasha. This is what the people of Gamelus all want. Or rather, it's what I want. And thus, by extension, what I want is what the people of Gamelus want, because I am an egotistical fascist dictator, and that's how egotistical fascist dictators roll. Am I connected to everything? If somebody's not connected to Facebook, he's not in chat. 
Oh, I actually need autoplay on. So, Lieutenant Mori is stranded out in Gamblas proper right now, yeah? That's what Yurisha said at best, at least. Heard you rejected NG, uh, Lieutenant NG, uh, JG Nambu's plan to go rescue her. I can talk. Yeah, what gives? Sure it's okay to leave her be? Earthfleet can't give priority of all, all... Priority all else? Over all else is getting to Iskandar. Gamblas isn't part of the plan. Yeah, but are you all right going that route? Tell us how you're really feeling, Lieutenant. Huh? I'm already being honest with you all. Your face says otherwise, Lieutenant. You can't hide it. Everyone in this ship knows what you're thinking. Yeah, you just haven't said it out... Yeah, you just haven't said it out loud yourself. You have to deal with this alone. We can hit. Yeah, we'll find a way to deal with this mess without abandoning our commitment to the three dimensions. We can do it. And not mutual. Maybe you guys are right. I don't know. Just be, just be honest to us, to Lieutenant Mori, and most importantly of all, to yourself. I have to go now. To get back to the bridge. Lieutenant Kodai looks so troubled. The drop fames are probably not going to show up on the archive. So if you're running the drop frames for the live version, there will be the archive video up on the on my YouTube channel. He is sure it's a tough nut to crack, isn't he? But to guess, he's probably stuck trying to reconcile his personal feelings with his duties. I'm not sure why it's dropping. Uh. Back okay, pausing my backup that was running. That will hopefully fix it. Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised. I'd be surprised if he wasn't doing that. Are we really just going to leave Lieutenant Mori behind and go on to Iskandar without her? I don't think so, sis. I'm confident a chance to rescue her will still arise. Chance? What chance? I'm gonna try to follow nine. Forgive me. My choice, of my choice of words were poor, but I believe an opportunity to act may present itself soon enough. Essentially, I think it's safe to conclude that the Gamblins will not let us simply walk into Iskandar unchecked, so to speak. One does not simply bosun jump into Iskandar, I guess you could say. Which would mean when they come to attack us, we might have a window to save Lieutenant Mori after all. I guess there's only one thing for me to do. I have a message for every member of Earthfleet Tenku. The Earth is far, far behind us now. Roughly 160,000 light years at this point. But numbers aren't what really matter. In our hearts, Earth is still right behind us, waiting patiently for the day we all return with good news. Soon, we'll find out our final destination. The Salazar system, and with it, Iskandar. But we can't forget the Gamelins also call this system home. Entry also means breaching enemy territory. Nevertheless, we must we, we charge onward to Iskandar, not because we must, but because hope for our home rests there. And the people of Earth believe in that hope too. They believe we'll find it and we'll bring it back home with us. We'll proceed now proceed in our to warp to Iskandar, our last major jump in this journey, I pray. At least until the return trip. All units, assume combat positions and prepare to warp. Yes, sir. Commander, you received a transmission from Admiral Dietz. He says the Gamelin homeworld is under attack by some mysterious metallic life forms. Metallic? That could only mean one thing. Yes, ELS have struck again. Moments like these always serve to remind me just how vast space. Who'd have thought that these things existed? Um, priorities? Head of waxy philosophical. Shut up. Philosophical. Don't interrupt me. Not that something matters. Yeah, they'll do fine. Just find this subjects for our little test. Think it might be too early to use it, Your Excellency. So still only at 80% operating capacity. Right. That's a, actually that's probably a lighter voice for him. Oh, you're not. It's as long as it's usable at all. That's more than good enough for me. 
Though I should emphasize the device was primarily made to help facilitate the upcoming move of the capital. It isn't fundamentally designed for any sort of com- I said it was more than good enough for me, Innocent. Understood, you asked. Now it's been making its way here soon anyway, we'd be ready to give them the warmest welcomes. Hey, that's over here. So after all, the ship has come pay us visit from so far away. We can't let them leave them empty-handed. Right, Yuri, sir? You should really be paying attention to them. What exactly you're trying to start? A plain old war. That's what. I can't. Oh, but I can. I had to fire the desolate cannon. Fire! Oh, okay. Roughly half the metallic creatures have been eradicated. What did you just do? I had an interesting idea come to me one day. What if we were to somehow weaponize wave motion energy? Hey now, wave motion gun. Realize the consequences of what you've done. The magnitude of what it is you created. I guess Devonna seems to be under the weather now. Escort her outside from me. Now the airlock, sir. No, no, to her quarters. What kind of monster do you think I am? Don't answer that question if you value your life. Yes, my lady. Do I know what I've done? <laughs> How funny. Certainly, Queen Starsha is trying to reach us on the hotline. What do you do, sir? Not surprised you can probably see the light of the Desolate Cannon from this candle. Put it through. What is the meaning behind this? Harnessing the wave motion power of energy as a weapon is hardly something I'd call befitting of some fitting of someone in your position. Just be straight with me. Do you oppose the firing? Yes, I oppose it vehemently. Why not surprised? Of course you do. Every single time we talk about some sort of grievance to air. But you should know that if you have my problem by using it, you your anger at the Terrans too. I have to explain. I'm not sure I know what you mean. The ship you've been finding over has seen fit to turn wave motion into a weapon of destruction. That can't be. Surely you're mistaken. Why have a sister on the line? Fine, you have to catch the side of your sister at the royal service we help. My sister, what is she? Best assertive, seen to it she's in her hands. What are you thinking, Emelt? You lost it. I'd say quite the opposite. I'm doing all of this for you. I don't want this. Stop it at once. Sasha, you don't mean that, surely. This, please, I beg of you, Emelt. Stop all this up, that's why you still can. I think we've talked long enough. Here, yeah, your highness. Oh, if only we can see out of eye, Starsha. Let's see, the Terrans have just arrived. And one more ship, so we've got... The Yamato, we have, um... A ship from, uh... In the blow. On, just go. That's true, the ELS are here. Look at the dashboard over there. Oh my god, is that thing a giant ELS? But the light that the through can only be one thing. Yes, a Gamelin wave motion gun. What? Sir, objecting grab the fluctuations. You're right, sir. Had to be a wave motion gun. I tell all units to deploy immediately. Yes, sir. All units deploy immediately. Hurry up. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Now it's my time to put everything on the line and give you my all. Coming with you. All right. Thank you. What you need to do, right? Definitely. It's not my job to fight here. I have everything to do. That's enough. I think is going to be doing a rescue me. So defeat all game in between five turns and defeat the large ELS. For those turns, don't let the gamblins defeat any ELS unit. This is going to be a really goddamn hard. That's our point to get, and we can basically take the hell out of the gamble. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.